So when you come on, just say what's up so I can see where you are. Well, you know, I can see where your comments are. Just say hello. And um, also let me know how, how training was for you this week. Let me know how your training was this week, etc. So um, I'll start off with myself. This week I didn't have any trades. No trades. Um, we've been talking recently about that, you know, about the market. Just, just being what it is. Wilson, what's happening? I see you. <clears throat> just talking about the market being what it is, allowing it to be what it is and do what it does and never um, making yourself vulnerable by trying to force the market to do something that it's not doing at the time. This is something very important career path wise. If trading is something that you want to do, um, Antonio, what's happening? Uh, trading is something that you want to do as your career. Um, you have to learn how to not feel pressured into trading when the market has not presented the, the, the environment and behavior that you're waiting for. So, you know, this is just a, this is a general foundational principle that you have to learn to stick to because I mean there are people that don't even trade with us you know don't they don't use the framework that TA uses or anything and they'll find themselves becoming vulnerable because they haven't just learned to chill out you know they they put their account at risk being frivolous because they feel like they have to trade and it's like this urgency to feel the need to trade is one of the the biggest account killers that are out there it's very easy to get killed in the market like there's a million ways to die you can just pick one <laughs> so if you go that route the market that has no problem killing you you know what i'm saying like if you feel the need to be in the market when the market is blatantly telling you that you shouldn't be in the market, you're making a choice to potentially lose in the trade. I, I, I mean, I would go as far as saying you're choosing to lose because if you keep repeating that, you will lose at some point. The market is, is not gonna be, you know, um, merciful on you. It doesn't have it doesn't have the ability to do that. Market is doing, everything is doing on its own. It don't even know that you're there. So for you to feel like it owes you something and to try to force your way in when it's not presenting what you're waiting to see is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. And it's something that through TA, we, we are conditioning ourselves to never give in to the, the urge to do that. You know, I'm not going to um, act like we don't have the urge to do that because the urge exists within everybody. Of course, you get anxiety and you get thirsty and you, you know, you have to, to learn how to control your greed. But aside from that, um, you got to just allow the market to do what it does and let the market lead you and guide you into where you want to go that way you won't be wrong you see what i'm saying the market is never wrong so if the market is telling you through its behavior that the trades that you want to come are not there yet or not there at all you got to accept that that's one of the biggest th you know the biggest challenges that people have to deal with within this industry even professionals like even people that have been trading for years you got to learn how to control that you have to. It's like you got to stick to what you do and don't bend and don't break. So learning how to be that way, to be stoic, you know, when it comes to dealing and interacting and engaging with the market and to never violate whatever your actual core rules are for the way that you're going to engage is of the utmost importance. You know, like it's not even optional. 
It's not an optional thing. Yep. <laughs> I see you, Stacy. <laughs> Um, when you come on, say what's up so I can see where you at. Let me come back up here to these comments. Because I know I, I missed a bunch of stuff. Hold up. I'm not even seeing comments up here. Why not? Oh, man. This ain't showing me the comments today. What is that? Damn, I can't see no comments. <laughs> oh shit. Um, if you're posted a comment on the on the page, like if you on the TA page, repost your comments. I can see it from here, but I can't see it from the screen for some reason. I don't know what Facebook is doing. But just repost whatever you posted so far. I know I saw I saw a post from Tracy. I think I saw a post from Jay Carly and from Stacy. All you see is is the corner of the windshield. What? You don't see nothing else? And how you seeing, you don't see me in the, in, in the video right now? That's JT saying he only see the corner of the windshield. Yeah, Antonio said he can see fully. All right, so um, Jay Carly, I see you in the watch party. Um, I see Sabita. I see Volston. I see Doc. What's up, Doc? Yeah, but so for 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 the the ones on the page, some of y'all are on the page and not in the watch party. Y'all have comments, but I can't see them on here. So just repost whatever comment that you put up so far so I can see it over here. Y'all understand what I'm saying? All right, so Antonio was good. Yeah, there's always a lag though. But just re just copy and repaste whatever comment that you made already. Like where you are, Stacy. And the same thing for Tracy. Cause y'all made comments, I didn't get a, a chance to read them though. And I can't see them from here. So I'm looking here. I can see them from here, but I cannot see, I can't scroll from here for some reason. Like I don't know why. It is weird, but it is what it is. See, like, I don't know. Oh, I found it. I found it. All right, I figured it out. Okay, I see it now. So Antonio has said just training. JT said training was good this week. <clears throat> training was cool this week. 
kept rewinding Stacy, why are you always looking for a shortcut? <laughs> Number 600, I laughed. I laughed about it. 50 rewinds of that part. <laughs> yeah, y'all got unmuted and started bugging out. Um, Jay Carly said, training and keeping old monsters at bay, O and O, for a little while. Tracy said, training was freaking awesome this week. I have to just get more chart and recording time. Um, Damon, what's happening? Stacy said, did not do bad, 1-0 and at 500 contracts, and 301 was the bomb.com for me. She, she projected in the future. Yeah, she said, keep speaking that into existence. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. All right, so Tracy said, training was freaking awesome this week. I just need more chart and recording time to solidify my understanding. Okay, so we good now. All right. So the one with the lag is the page, which is crazy. So the watch party don't even have a lag if that's the case. But who 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 knew? I can't tell anyway. I know that there just be a lag. All right, so JT is in one of the watch parties now. All right, cool. Yeah, so actually one of the, um, and I actually touched on it on Friday, but I think one of the, one of the topics for next week, is going to be like, what do you, like, what happens when you don't get trades? Like, what do you do? I think that that's a good topic to, to touch on because one of the things that people will, until they, until you develop the right habits you will have a tendency to get thirsty and especially like in the beginning you know what i'm saying joe g what's happening um you'll have a tendency to get thirsty and then your thirst when you can't control it it leads to you doing something stupid like taking a trade that you had absolutely no business being in at all because you had no business being in the market at the time and very good. Stacy's on it. She said, "What you do is you watch 301. This is the time to study." Exactly. Exactly. And on Friday, yes, well, yesterday, um, on YouTube, this is what we were touching on, and literally what um, I was saying is that during the time like during the moment that you have downtime so to speak where you don't you don't have trades that's an opportunity for you to give value to the time it's like being able to turn the downtime into uptime and it's like all right well how do you do that and what you do is you train more and when you train more what happens is you keep hearing how what you're actually doing by not trading is exactly what you should be doing. Like this is what training reinforces all the time. So you'll hear constantly in training, patience, discipline, focus, not deviate, and you'll hear all of this stuff over and over and over again. Now it elevates for you when you actually have market experience where now you have to do that. In other words, now, because of what the market is doing at the time, 
you're in position to execute what training is reinforcing, which is to not do nothing. If there's no trades to take, you don't take trades. You see what I'm saying? So it puts you in a very rare situation when you actually are in the market when there is no opportunity for a trade at the time to now act on what training constantly reinforces in perpetuity. There's a reason that the more that you train, the more that it becomes easier to do it as far as execution when you observe it. It's just like how now you guys are observing more, more people are starting to record, right? Like, why is that? Like, why are people actually doing that now? It's because through the training, it's reinforcing those habits on training. When you hear a live training now, if you attend live training or you listen to the replay, and the majority of people listen to the replay, like even if they don't attend the live training, and I'm talking about the ones at night, right? On the live training, you'll hear me say, 301 is the first habit, the second habit is recording. If you keep hearing that over and over again, guess what you'll do? <laughs> You're gonna start recording. You see what I'm saying? And now what happens is because you're recording, you're held accountable for what you do. So you're recording something that you may have a question about or something that you wanna share with the group or even something that you just wanna go back and rewatch yourself. You'll record a binary, you'll play it back and you'll be like, oh snap, I didn't even see all of that. I thought it did this. So you'll begin to catch how when you're looking at it in real time, you might miss something that the market actually showed you because maybe you're paying most of your attention to one thing in particular. And I'll give you the, the prime example of that. For some, they have to overcome the, the lean into phase three. Like this is just something that I can talk about because this is something that people have done, right? You're leaning into phase three, which means that you're applying parameters when you really should be applying observation. You're in phase three when you really should be in phases one and two. You should be focusing on behavior. You should be focusing on whether or not the market is fast or slow before you start applying the parameters, right? Now, the tendency for you to lean into phase three is something that you will inherently overcome when now you have to be held accountable for what you saw, which in reality is what you thought that you saw. Because when you record, you're recording and at the same time you're looking in real time, right? But when you play it back, the recording is showing you what you missed in real time. You're not gonna catch, See, when you first start observing, it's new to you. So you're not gonna catch everything. Again, if you're leaning into phase three, you're looking at the parameters. Even if, even if the, the binary was a next, you know, you'll say something like, oh, it had a back tick. You see what I'm saying? If you're saying back tick, you're in phase three state of mind. If you're saying, oh, the distance wasn't, wasn't there, you're in phase three state of mind. If you say, oh, well, it was priced out, guess what? You in phase three. When you have a recording and you play it back, now on live training, you hear the focus is on quick glance. What is the quick glance doing? The quick glance is actually bringing you in to your observation. 
You're applying all of 301 through it, but the focus is not phase three. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The focus is one and two. So now the quick glance, when you play the recording back and you apply the quick glance, now you're looking at it and you're not leaning into phase three because the quick glance doesn't put you in phase three. You're like you're, you're following me, right? So look at how everything that is implemented into what you're being given as tools to train with is leading you right into where you need to be at the, at the moment, at the time. You understand what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's putting you right where you need to be. Quick glance. It's going to apply 301, but it ain't going to just do th the, the, the third phase, though. It's not just you applying phase three. And you're gonna do more of the quick glance when you have more recordings. How do I know that? Because you're not gonna just look at it one time in real time. You're gonna look at the playback of the recording after you looked at it in real time. So what you did where you called out back tick, now when you apply quick glance to what you're looking at in the recording of the same binary, you're like, oh, no, nah, you know what? That was next. You see what I'm saying? You're, you're gradually shifting out of the third phase into the foundation. And we talked about this all week on training. Building your dream house on the foundation, but you got to make sure that the foundation is there. Don't worry about the architecture of the house and the interior decoration of the house yet. Lay the foundation first. That's what the 301 of repeat is. You see what I'm saying? That's what recording is. You're laying the foundation by creating the habits. All of these habits are gonna have you applying the process properly. So you never put yourself in position to lean into phase three, which I know is a natural thing for, for people to do because they're like, well, when do we get into the trade? When does the trade like, when is it time to trade? When do we take the trade? You're thinking like that, but I'm giving you more so the process that you use to recognize the trade when it comes. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. There's a difference between looking for and observing. When you're looking for something, you can be looking at something and not seeing it. <laughs> You're looking at it, but you don't see it because you're looking for something. So everything that you're looking at, you're not even paying attention to because that's not what you're looking for. So as soon as you shift that and you stop looking for, now you can observe and just look at. And when you look at, the market gives you all of the information that you need to know what you're looking at. So it's like learning what to look at, not learning what to look for. <laughs> this is hard. Like this whole, what I'm going into now is what I'm gonna be going into in, like on the live training for next week. Because it's gonna help you to adjust the way that you observe and the way that you look at things and then your expectations. Everybody on the outside always got the same questions. How many trades did you have this week? It's not about how many trades you had this week. We know that trades come when the market gives it to us. You see what I'm saying? So it's not even a question of how many trades. It has nothing to do with that. How many times did you see the market present a trade? How many times did you see the market present you with the trade? And you know what the actual process is to be able to determine that and to be able to see and recognize that. You see, you see, like you understand the difference. So this is hard. Like, like everything that I'm talking about right now is an elevated understanding of what we do already. And that's why when you come on the recap, it's like being on a training. The recap is like a training. 
Because everything right now I'm talking about is 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 prepping for what we're going to train on next week. Mind you, it's the same shit that we always talk about anyway. It's nothing new. It's still the same stuff. This is still 301 that we're talking about. Everything I just went through. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let me come let me come back over so I can catch these comments. Um I missed something. Well, actually I missed a few things. <clears throat> Jay Carly said I'm thinking out loud. If you're feeling thirsty and the market is being how it was this week, don't log in at all until other students who don't have that problem are talking about it's almost there, it's getting there, etc. Until you're fully able to control the thirst and train, train, train. That is very sound advice. She said, I hope that that makes sense. I have a lot of tools to help with these monsters. Indeed. Somebody left, um, what day was that? What, what, what day did, did Gary leave, J. Carly? That was Friday? I think it might have been Friday. Couldn't take it anymore. Um, and it had, again, when like when somebody leaves the training, it has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. It has everything to do with them. And I had a brief conversation, and he straight up told me, he was like, yo, I'm retarded. This, these are his words. He said, I'm retarded to on a whole nother level. In other words, he just has not been able to overcome the thirst. The same thing that Jay Carly's talking about. So, like, that's why that's excellent advice because if you don't learn how to control something, it's going to control you. Period. Like, it don't matter what it is. This is the, like, that's the whole basis of addiction. You can be addicted to being stupid. You realize that, right? You just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. The, the, the very definition of insanity. Insanity is a real thing. That's not, it's, it, 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 and insanity doesn't mean you crazy. Insanity means you can't stop doing the same thing while you're expecting a different result from the same thing that you keep doing. You can't stop doing it. That is insanity. Insanity don't mean, oh, he crazy. It's not that you crazy, it's that you can't stop. You haven't figure out, figured out how to stop. And the only way to stop is to stop. <laughs> it's like, man, I don't know how to stop. You actually just literally have to stop. That's the only way. You can't keep doing it and expecting this magical shit to happen that all of a sudden is gonna give you a different result to the same thing that you keep doing. That's why def the definition of insanity is doing the same shit with a different expectation. It it's literally insanity. So you got to stop. That's the only it's the same principle as the only way through is to, to go through. You can't go around. You there's no shortcut. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Yeah, Friday night, right. Yep. Um Tracy said I think for me my desire to not lose. Whoo, that's hard. I like how she started that off. <laughs> Listen to this, man. My desire to not lose helps me to be patient. I'm willing to wait until I'm 100% confident in what I'm observing. I shouldn't feel anxiety and confusion when I'm observing and wondering if what I'm seeing is correct. It should be crystal clear. So in my head, I'm perfectly fine with waiting. I'm preparing for when I actually do start taking trades. No losses, no bullshit, and that starts now. <laughs> Oh, 
Man, oh man. That's hard. Um, Sabi, is there any special timings when to trade? Sabi, you need to just focus on 301 on repeat because that that question is not really a relevant question. Like what you're asking is like, is there a special time of the day to trade? That's not the question. The question is, when should you be engaging in the market? And the answer to that is when the market is stable and when the market presents you with the opportunity when it's stable. So what you're asking is, well, when is that? And the answer is whenever the market decides. So there, there is no special time of the day for trades to come. You know, yeah, our trades come between three to five. No. The trade can come at any time, so what you need to learn is the skill set. And the skill set is going to be grafted into you through the repetition of 301. That's why you gotta keep watching 301 over and over again. Because every time that you watch it, it elevates your understanding of it which is allowing you to observe and see and understand what you're looking at. I just said this earlier, and we're gonna focus on this in training this week. You learn to focus on what you're looking at, not what you're looking for. You're, we're not looking for a trade. We're looking at the market and learning how to recognize when the market gives us a trade. So you're learning how to look at the market the right way. A trade is only going to come when the market stabilizes. Period. Which means at the right time. You understand? It's just like if I if I give you a way to win over and over again, you can mess it up. How do I know that? Because if you don't have the patience to wait for the market to deliver it to you, you won't wait. You will figure out a way to deviate from the winning framework. So in other words, you won't do it. This is why our training is so all-inclusive. It's mindset and it's the framework that you're learning in the market that is going to win trades. You see? so. The framework that we use is what observation is for. Learning how to look at the market until the market presents the trade. And we know what that means. It's not that the market is giving us a good trade. The market is presenting us with the right time and then the trade comes. There's a difference. The market is presenting us with the right time and then the trade comes during the right time. That's why there's no such thing as a good trade or a bad trade. More so, no such thing as a good trade. Like people like to say, oh, that was a good trade. What do you mean by that? What was good about the trade? See, the answer to us is, well, the reason that that was good is because this is the right time to be in a trade. Oh, now it, that switches everything up right there. So we dealing with the right time, not a good trade. You understand? That's what you're learning. Mo was good, man. All right, JT. Uh, Mo, how'd you do this week? I was um, training and everything for you this week. Um, JT said, no losses, saw a range, almost give it up. Um, couldn't get the plus one. Had a back ticket five range, was three MP. It was tight. All right, cool. Shawnee, what up? Um, Sabi, when will be phase three? I just stated. Yeah, that's in 301. That is in 301. Mo 
most said he chilling. No doubt. 301, man. <laughs> 301. Um, Tracy said no specific times, just specific market conditions, which present at various times. Very good. Very good way to put it. That that is an awesome way to put it. Specific condition at various times. And to take it even a step further, it's a specific condition that comes at any time. See, there's a difference between any time and all the time. People, for various reasons, they, they, they want to know when instead of understanding why. Like, there's a difference. Come on, bro, what you doing? What are you doing? You don't see me? People be bugging, man. You just backing up, backing up. You got first of all, you got mad space in front of you. Like he got damn near two car spaces in front of me and still coming close to me. I'm not even in a space and you coming over here. Like, what are you doing? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's the what's the last thing I said? I'm sorry. I, I I was in the middle of a point. And Mo said, all 301, all we, no trades. There we go. There we go. That's what it is. He said, also sharpening my quick glance skills. <laughs> nice. Mo, have you started um, recording? <clears throat> recording is, is, a, um, is definitely an inherent part of us learning because you get a chance to have binaries recorded, you know, that you can kind of hold on to. And like you can like over the weekend, it's a good time, for example. Like if you were recording throughout the week and you saw different binaries and you're seeing the reason why it was not valid as far as the timing goes. Invaluable, like the elevation that comes from that is remarkable. Cause you were able to do that on the weekend, like when the market ain't open. You know what I'm saying? Um, Antonio said, looking for that certain time a day to trade forces you to take a trade because you feel like in that window you set to trade, you have to trade. Woo! Oh. Damn. Mic drop, bro. Looking for that certain time of day to trade forces you to take a trade because you feel like in that window you set to trade, you have to trade. <laughs> he said, I did that a lot trying to trade Forex and it kept me losing. Come on now. Come on now. He preaching to the choir. That's hard. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Mo, you're going to get there. You're going to get there. <clears throat> yeah, that, the um, recording, one of the best things that we could do. Yes, it is. Even I'm going to start recording binaries more and just hold on to them and just have references to use, like, you know, over the weekend or in your downtime, you just look at different action in the market when you obs are observing the binary and you look and learn the differences of the nuances for your market. That's another thing too, why important it's important to record. When you're recording your market, 
look at your market like look at your recordings of the of your market a lot of times when you're looking at recordings it might be of somebody else's market like you know there's a lot of eu recordings um nico records a lot um of course jay carly record all the damn time jt is starting to record more david records a lot um joel records a lot and when they record they're recording for their market so they're sending me recordings of like the aussie you know I, it, it could be the aussie or it could be the dollar yen it's their market when you start recording for your market it allows you to have a reference <clears throat> so you can see why or why not and you just continue to familiarize yourself with how the market is looking not with if it was a trade or not remember that we're not even looking at it for that reason we're looking at we're not looking for looking at the market not looking for a trade remember when the trade comes the you the, the market will unfold the trade at the right time the question is is it the right time you're only going to know that by learning how to look at the market instead of learning how to look for a trade. Make sense? Um, Tracy said, I did that when I started with Nadex2, tried to take my two trades for the day before work. <laughs> yep. yep. Antonio said, yep, it's, um, it's, a ha it's a habit traders go through looking for a trade. What I just say about what we're not doing, we're not looking for a trade. This shit makes sense, man. It makes perfect sense. So again, it's the one thing that will keep you away from your urge to do dumb shit. When you're learning the actual discipline of just observing and then you incorporate recording what you're observing and why you're observing now it's like a double dose because you saw it because you're looking and you recorded it so now you can play it back like yo let me look at that again let me make sure i'm seeing this right now you have a you got a video to look at like oh man i didn't even see that yeah it ain't there I could have sworn it was there, but it ain't there yet. Now it's the difference between you misinterpreting what the market is actually doing and at the same time, you're sharpening your ability to observe in real time. Your recordings will help to sharpen your ability to actually observe because it's pounding the process into your head even more when you play it back. It's the same way that people have tried to develop their own way of trading by looking at trades that I take. You know what I'm talking about? The, the trades that I record through different projects and different things that I, different challenges over time. People be looking at the videos and trying to figure out what I'm doing. Like, oh, oh, I, I see what he's doing. He wait until the market is slow. Oh, I, I so I gotta wait for a slow market. Damn, the market just be moving fast all the time. Market is never slow. They're not, they're not developing the most important aspect of the skill set, which is patience. They don't want to develop the patience. So what they do is they jump to the way that they see me enter into the trade. You see what I'm saying? They're looking for a trade. They're not understanding that the only reason I took the trade in the first place is because the time was right. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, this shit is, it's a whole nother level, man. Whole nother level. It had nothing to do, had nothing to do with the trade. Um, Mo said, I'm going to start opening screencasts at the same time I open Nadex. Yes. 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 Very good habit right there. 
Um, Jay Carly said, that's what I do. It's all a routine. Nadex recorder, set up my platform after I set the recording. Right. Yep. Second nature now. Um, Tracy said, TA has changed my whole mindset about trading, which is what I needed to go to the next level after five years of being inconsistent in the market. Thankful. That next level, man. <clears throat> and it's, it's empowering to know that what it has more to do with is you than it does with the market. I think that that's another thing that people, um, they don't realize that and they don't want to accept that either. They don't want to believe that it's them. People want to swear up and down it's because of how the market is. And the absolute truth is not, is that it's not because of how the market is. Because the market is always some kind of way. So it can't be that. The market is always doing some shit. There's never a time that the market ain't doing some shit. Which is why certain, you know, just just the way people dot like dialogue about the market is is all is incorrect. Oh, today was a good market. What that mean? A good market? What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Market was moving all over the place like it was yesterday and the day before and the day before that. You know, so it has so much more to do with being able to interpret the inherent foundational aspect of the market and then deciding on what you're going to do as far as the way that you're going to approach trading. So all of that is well established with what we do here. Bottom line for us is that we don't want to trade at all if the potential to lose exists. Period. Like I don't I don't care how long it takes for the market to stabilize and do what it needs to do. We going to wait for that. And we ain't going to do nothing until it does. Why? Because it ensures that when we do engage that we're going to win for one. And if we know that we're going to win every time that we in the market, it gives us the confidence that we need to scale up and now create a business. You, you understand what I'm saying? A business is when you can actually scale up and increase your income as you see fit. You're not afraid to do it. The market is not scary to you. The market is literally the instrument that allows you to do it because of the time that you took to understand and interpret the market with accuracy. So now you operate in, in the market like a surgeon with a scalpel, precision, straight precision. Next level. Um, Jay Carly said, they cracked me up, oh, it's crazy. Well, it's always crazy, most of the sometimes. <laughs> Just like it's sometimes stable most of the time, right? Like it's, it's always never doing nothing. Sometimes. <laughs> it's always never doing anything most of the time. <laughs> it's never always doing nothing. And it's never always doing something for no reason. <laughs> like you can keep going with it. It's crazy. You can just keep going. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, I mean, like, y'all know what it is. Shani said, what we wait for, unfortunately for some, doesn't come around very often. And that waiting game breaks some people. Right. And I think that's a good question for someone to really ask themselves. Is like, what you want to break you? Would you rather be broken by the market in perpetuity or would you rather break your bad habits think about how valuable it is to break a bad habit that you have impatience is the worst one listen to what shani just said 
The waiting game breaks people. In other words, they will they refuse to break impatience. You refusing to break your habit to be impatient? Don't you know that you that that you, the definition of that is that you jammed up for life now. Like you you literally are going to be jammed up forever now cuz you refuse to break that habit. You refusing to break it. Nah, that's too slow for me. Oh, okay, this is too slow for you, so you're just gonna keep losing fast in perpetuity. You'd rather do that. Then take your time, slow it down, and break your impatience so that you can just wait for the market to give it up to you and create a business, a profitable business at that. That's a, I, that's a rough one. That's a rough one for people to accept, but that's what it is. And until you accept it, you'll keep repeating it. We just talked about that. That's, that is the definition of insanity. You're not crazy, you're just stupid. <laughs> you're stupid by choice. You literally are choosing to do exactly what you know you're gonna continue to do if you keep doing it. You know that you're gonna keep losing. You know this. I told you what 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 um the dude told me Friday. He, I, matter of fact, I should read it. I, I'm literally gonna read what he what he he, he what he he texted me. This is this is what he said. He says I am retarded to an unknown level. Listen, man. Listen. That's a decision. Doesn't that sound like a decision? That's a decision. Like I'm, I'm retarded. I'm, I, and I'm gonna stay retarded. You can't make the horse drink the water, man. <laughs> can't make the horse drink the water. Um, Jay Carly said we all know That I had to break to rebuild It would have been much easier To just wait and trust that They will always come eventually Right Don't be dumb on purpose Wow <laughs> She said maybe he really had a mental disorder <laughs> <laughs> yo uh, Yo, I don't know, man I don't know I don't think so I don't think so <laughs> Yo, she said that's her nurse braid talking She's like, yeah, maybe his chemical Makeup causes him to just be that way Is there a chemical for just stupidity? <laughs> and I'm saying like, see, so understand what I'm saying. I'm not, I would never say that somebody is stupid. What I'm saying is that the decision that you're making is stupid. You're making the decision. You deciding it. You, whatever you put out the I am is what you become. He said, I am retarded. To an unknown level It's just it's, All it is is lack of Self control That's all it is And If your self control level Is high like that How are you ever going to overcome that The only way that you can overcome that Is through suffocation That's the only way That that can't live where Discipline lives They, It's one or the other They can't exist They can't coexist you can't serve two masters. One of them is up out of here. But the thing about it is that you choose which one is up out of here. Come on.
Come on, man. <clears throat> Jay Carly said he just got to work with the monsters, not for them. Um, Tracy said, I know that for sure, Jay Carly. That's why I don't tell many people about TA. They wouldn't make it. You ain't lying. You're not lying. People, people, people do that all the time. Like they, they get exposed. And it's not like TA is exposing you. What it is is that the market is exposing you. You're dealing with the mirror. And it's like, well, when the last time that you actually stood in front of the mirror and looked at yourself? And I don't mean the outside of yourself. When the last time you had the mirror up to your interior? Maybe never. So the first time you look in that mirror, you're like, oh shit. Damn, I didn't know I was like this. So it shifts from that and then you become self-aware of it. So now, you, now you're now you aware that you are like that. Question becomes now what you're gonna do about it. There's only one way to, to, to overcome anything. It's by suffocating it. Well, how do you suffocate stupidity? With wisdom. 301 got all kind of wisdom in it. Keep listening to it over and over again. If you listen to self-help or any type of, you know, um, I guess it is a self-help, whatever, whatever self-help stuff that you talk about that's out there or anybody that, you know, promotes that or whatever, they use affirmations, right? What's, what's an affirmation? Repetition. Instead of saying, I don't feel good, yo, I feel great. The opposite idea. You got to suffocate this idea with the opposite of it. It's a scale. Right now, your shit like this. I don't feel good is up here. I feel great is down here. You got to do so much, I feel great until the scale tips. Eventually, they meet and it's like, oh, snap, and go either way now. You keep doing, I feel good. I feel great and it, it starts to do this. Eventually the shit is this is so far down and this is so up. You don't feel bad no more because you done suffocated the idea of feeling bad. So you can't even feel bad. You just be feeling good. Oh that but that doesn't work. Yes, it does work. It works literally with everything. So why would it not work with what we're doing? It's mindset. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not different. Let the weak say I'm strong. You go to church, they tell you that. Let the weak say I'm strong. That's in the Bible, right? What that sound like? Sound like repetition. <laughs> Come on, man. We dealing with the same principles. So, TA is really just. Self-help disguised as trade in the markets. That's really what we're doing. You're learning how to control yourself. And what that leads to is the prize. There's a reward for learning how to control yourself. There's a reward for developing patience and discipline. The reward is you'll actually apply something that works. Every time that you do it, you do it. Patience and discipline allow you to execute whatever you want to do. What are we talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. This is it's another level, man. Whole another level. <laughs> man. Mo said, all the this, all this self-help stuff I've been through brought me here. <laughs> the vibe is everywhere. Like, come on, man. All right, that's a whole nother. Uh, Mo said, man, Marcus, I was typing self-help. You were saying it. It's crazy. The vibes, man. <laughs> the vibe don't play. It plays no games. 
Um, David said, what up TA, another good week, no losses. My takeaway from observation this week is embracing that inner feeling when I recognize the market is saying, yes, the time is now. I'm giving you this trade. Oof. Man. Gotta read that one again. My takeaway from observation this week is embracing that inner feeling when I recognize observation. The market is saying, yes, the time is now. I'm giving you this trade. Come on, man. That's <laughs> Sabi said, trade for us, Mark. Training looks hard. Training is hard. But training is life. When training becomes your life, it don't it don't be hard no more. Same way you take a breath. Same way you train. The same way that you train, the same way you gonna trade. Uh uh uh. J. Carly said, you can look in the mirror all you want, but do you understand what you're seeing and then what you're going to do about it? Duality is real. Just decide which side you want to rock with. That's it. Choose ye this day which master you will serve. Come on, man. Like these, This is universal principles. Like Life lessons and positivity. Tracy said a lot of key words in that statement. Yeah, what David said, that was hard. Um, Tracy said that's why we will get results most people don't have. Nope. They're gonna and, and they'll never achieve certain results that they're looking for because you're looking outside when you should be looking inside. Oof. <laughs> oh boy. You're looking outside when you should be looking inside. And I know people sometimes get confused when they be around us. They be like, I thought they were talking about the market. It sounded like they in church. Yeah. <laughs> this is church. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Church is repetition. Like we we talk, we keep talking about the same things. Come on, man. Uh, Mo said, just like the Jackson 5, them boys train. Mike trained the hardest. Come on, man. And fortunate, you know, it, what ended up being fortunate for them is their father was determined. And he forced them to be determined. Oof. That's hard. Think about that one for a second. He forced them to be determined. He infected them with success. It, it, it wasn't an, it, it wasn't optional. He was like, "You're going to be the best." I don't care that you, I don't care that you that you that you tired. I don't care that your knees hurt. We're gonna keep practicing. I don't care your fingers hurt. I don't care. Keep practicing, keep practicing. That's the reason why you know who Michael Jackson is to this day. You know who the Jacksons are. You know who Janet Jackson is. You know who Latoya Jackson is. You even know who Tito is. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Ed Tolia said, like the BBB family, Big Boiler brand. Uh-huh. What's up, Walker? Yeah, man. See, I, I, I and y'all know how these recaps get. Like, these recaps be getting real hard. Because it's the same vibe. It's not, it's, it's, see, like, that's another thing, too. It's like, it don't even matter what you be on. You be on a recap a YouTube live, 
live training in the group chat. It doesn't matter where you are. The vibe is everywhere. It's just following you because you chose the vibe. It's like just by being here is a choice. It's only a matter of time. The repetition is gonna get to your bullshit. Let the weak say I'm strong. You weak right now. You gotta keep saying I'm strong. How do you do that? 301 on repeat. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to get up out of here. <laughs> yeah, Tito. <laughs> Walker, before wait before we get off, Walker, how'd you do this week and um and your training and everything? Like how was how was things for you this week? Before we get off of here, because I just saw you come on just now, so I do want to hear from you. And you definitely got to watch the replay of this. This one today was hard. <laughs> Solid. And this a it, it is a delay on this, so um I know you might take a minute to respond to that. Um, he said 31 301s. Ooh. Damn. He said, I'm averaging three to four a day, which is a great cruise pace. Awesome. Awesome. He's talking about views of 301. I'm telling you, man. And Walker's come a long, long, long way. Um, he said almost uh, zero chart time due to quick glance nesting, oh nexting the times to observe entirely. Come on, man. Come on. There's no, there's no room for the bullshit. See, after a while, you when you suffocate the bullshit that you used to do, or the potential bullshit that you could do, you don't do it. Suffocation. It's, it's why I watch 301 as many times as I do every day. This is why I don't ever have even a little bit of bullshit that comes up. It has no room to. You understand like what what repetition does? It not only kills your, your BS, it keeps your BS away. It's like if your glass is always full and running over, it's like you just keep pouring in the glass, it keeps running over. It never gets empty. It matter of fact, it never even goes down a little. You know how you drink and and whatever you drink, now there's less in the glass. Keep pouring in the glass, it keeps running over. There's no room for it, it, it to even have a gap because you keep pouring into it. That's what repetition is. That's what 301 on repeat is. There's no room for bullshit. And that's why I reinforce that because I'm telling you, that's how you're gonna do it. Some people refuse to do it. I'm like, listen, I don't, I don't know how you think you're gonna get in position to where you wanna be in position without doing that. I don't know how you're gonna do that. You're not gonna do it by just taking trades and losing in perpetuity. You see, you've seen over and over again what happens when somebody does that, they leave. I guarantee you though, that the person that ends up leaving is not doing 301 over P. I guarantee you that. It's, no, it's, no, it's not even the question. When that's the first thing that you should be doing, listen to what I'm saying. The first thing that you should learn to do is not figure out how to take a trade. The first thing that you need to learn to do is 301 on repeat. Just that. Don't even worry about nothing else yet. Just do that. 
Even if it's only one one a day, do it every day. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> it works. It works. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Um, I'll see you guys on training tomorrow. And um, to everybody else, I'll see y'all on YouTube on Monday. All right, y'all have an awesome weekend. Deuces. <laughs>